We're here today to get a proper price for our milk. We need an annualised price of 40 cents. We cannot produce milk at 33 cents as what we're getting for the past 12 months. There's no future for me or my family. We can't pay our bills. We're just going to go broke and we cannot lie down and go broke. Our farms are at risk. Everything is at risk. Machinery is at risk. Everything is at risk. We're not able to pay our, b our bills. ESP has gone up. Fertilisers has gone up. Diesel has gone up. In 1994, one litre of milk would buy one litre of diesel. Today, it would take almost four litres of milk to buy one litre of diesel. There's no future in it for us or our family. Working 365 days a year, I cannot continue. My son and myself work on the farm. I represent farmers in the Connacht Gold area who are too unable to come here because of labour problems, financial difficulties. We're under severe pressure. It just cannot continue. There's no future in it. We have got to get an annualised price of 40 cents full stop. And that's why we're here today. What we're after today really is if we need more remuneration to cover the costs. Our costs have increased massively over the last couple of years, particularly because of the huge rise in feed costs in the international markets. And our costs, we need 40 cents a litre to cover our cost of production at this stage. We're only getting 33, so there's a 7 cent gap. So guys have been producing milk over the past winter at a loss. Well, I suppose it isn't particularly about the government, it's particularly about the, 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 the different steps in the market that are out there. We're at the bottom end of the rung, we're the producers, we have the processors and the retailers, and we have the consumer who's buying the product at the end of the day. We think there's enough margin between us and the consumer to, to cover the costs, the extra costs we have over this winter period and into the future.